A Waterville man says the ashes of a friend were stolen right out of his vehicle yesterday at the Glendale Garden Cafe in South Toledo. And now he's calling on whoever took those to return them. Our Michael Sandlin is live from where it all happened. Michael, do we have any idea where this thief went? Jeff security camera footage here at the restaurant shows the thief getting on a TARDA bus and driving away. The man in charge of the ashes, Parker Hansen, says that he's checked bus after bus, but so far no luck, which he says has left him devastated, not just because he was kept in charge of keeping the ashes safe, but also because they're part of the final promise to a dying friend. If it wasn't important enough, this is even one more reason why we need to get those back. It was a friendship that lasted for decades. Mike Niles was my best friend. Mike and I have known each other for 40 years. I'm in the classic car business, and uh, I can credit Mike with getting me into that business. Before months ago, Hanson got a call that it was all coming to an end. Mike contacted me to tell me that he had stage 5 cancer, lung, lung cancer. Niles wanted to give all of his possessions to Hanson. But in the weeks leading up to Niles' death, Hansen decided that they should go to the right person. So he set out to find Niles' son, who he hadn't seen since the boy was an infant. Hansen eventually got in touch, and the son, now 17, wanted to reconnect. Mike and his son were able to meet. We got him from Ludington to Willard. And I have a picture of that meeting. And um, a lot of tears. Niles passed on the 15th of January, but before that, he made Hanson promise to drive his son out to a pier on Lake Michigan where he grew up, take him fishing, and then spread his ashes into the water. It was a promise Hanson took seriously, picking up the ashes Tuesday. But after a lunch at the Glendale Garden Cafe, discussing crime prevention with former mayors, he was met with a shock when he returned to the car. The box was gone. Despite the box clearly being labeled cremated remains, security camera footage from the restaurant shows someone taking the ashes out of Hansen's vehicle. Now, Hansen says he's received an anonymous text message asking for $300 for the ashes. And while he's not certain if it's the actual thief, he says he's willing to do almost anything to fulfill his promise to his friend. We need that for Mike so he can have, um, be laid to rest the proper way. If you have the ashes or have any information that can lead to their return, Parker Hansen asks that you call or text his number, which is on the screen right now. He says there will be no questions asked and no hard feelings. Reporting in South Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin, WTOL 11.